I'm Sydney Roddy for Cougar News. Hi, Terrell. How are you today? I'm good. How are you, Miss Sydney? I'm good. Thank you. Yeah. Terrell says that although crazy things are happening all around him, he hasn't seen much change in his life. He knows that he's been affected, but nothing seems real. He has been able to save some money since the beginning of quarantine, which is an advantage as a college student living on his own. He wouldn't be surprised if he had contracted the virus in late March and was able to quickly get over it, but he thinks it was more of a common cold with symptoms that were driven by anxiety, which he describes as a placebo sickness. What's it like being an essential worker during these trying times? Um, I feel like... Oh, you can just... you share like what you do and where you work? Sure, I work at this lovely Home Depot. Um, I just do freight handling, receiving, um, some stocking. I just basically unload the truck and then um, stock the freight after that. Um, and what was the question before that? Um, what's it like being an essential worker? Um, I don't really know. I feel like there's just more attention on you in ways that you don't really expect or you are just kind of exposed to how like how much of a necessity you are not only to like your company but to obviously the whole world now um again this store has not shut down so it seems just normal to me but it's kind of odd seeing people be out of work and me still going to work yeah. Terrell says that having to attend work five days a week, he believes that he's in a better position now and is not particularly worried about his safety because his job was so accommodating. Terrell says that he knows how lucky he is not having to interact with customers as per working after hours and thinks that it's a huge reason for his mind being at ease right now. I'm Sydney Roddy for Cougar News.